What's going on YouTubers, gamers and hobbyists? Welcome to this episode of On The Bench with Pete and I'm just, I just thought I'd start rolling the camera. Um, literally, I'm in the middle of doing some of my pipe work. Pipe work? <laughs> and I don't know where I'm gonna go after. Got some walks to do as well, so. I don't know, I just, I'm just, I just wanted to get the camera rolling and just do stuff, so let's get to it. Camera angle goes a bit wonky sometimes because my tripod plays up, but hey. Hey ho. Um, I'm trying out some P3 Blood Tracker Brown as a kind of a dry dry brush, over brush on, on these pipes because um yeah, because I want to. Not gonna have much rhyme or reason to it, I'm just gonna put it on. Put it on there. But I'm quite liking it. I'm liking the way it looks, the way it is, the way they sit. I have to get one of those joins uh, sometime. <laughs> that is the fan. It's blowing my paper towel, which is not good. I've got to have the paper. The <laughs> I was going to say I've got to have the paper towel on, but uh, I've got to have the fan on because it's just so hot. Man, it's hot. I'm going to put a few different colours on to to dry brush this bad boy because uh, yeah I figured it'd have different colours um, different weathering techniques and patterns and algae and goodness knows what who knows what these pipes have been used for so that's the way I'm playing it. But good bit of kit that. Uh, that plastic pipe from the plumber shop, plumbing place, it's just so cheap. And it's great to me. I'm going to pick up some more. Of course, I'll need some more um, Vallejo. Uh, basing texture stuff but uh, I wonder if I could do the same with um, polyfiller or other kind of fillers. I did try using silver neff bark on these but you couldn't really tell where I dry brushed it. It's not, not different of enough of a pigment in the paint to, to, to show the difference really so Using these and this P3 paint here. Yeah. So liking that. That is good. I do like that. May go for some. Let's see what else I've got from the past. Rhinox hide in a couple of areas. Yes, I may do that. May do that. Or would that be um, umbral umber? It's about the same, isn't it? I'll use that one. Is that cheaper? <laughs> Sorry, that's just my drawers on my uh, paint station thing. Grey. Grey, black, black, grey, uh, black, grey, uh, uh, green, grey, that might be handy, Jim field grey, green, grey, I've got two of them, so. Brown grey or a black brown. Oh yeah, I must have. Be in the browns, aren't it? 
armor brown. Yeah, maybe. There we go. Black brown. So. Right, Liberator Gold. I'll be needing that one later on. Don't think I need these two anymore at the moment. We're going on to um, greens later. Let's just get my bin open. Yes, that's good. My palette, which has previously dried up, well and truly dried up. Clean that off later. So, what should I start with? I'll start with the ones I can control from the pot first. So, Umbral Umber. Umbral Umber, yeah, that's, that's what it's called. On there. And that's that one done. Right, so we've got armor brown, maybe not that one. Black brown, this one might be useful. Could get a brush ready there. blowing on me it is hot so um, right so it's giving this one a bit of a good shake I mean I've got my marines to get back to later I'm just gonna see how it goes to be honest so it's been a hot day today here which is lovely no sun though that's the only trouble and I do I do like the sun that looks a bit similar to Umbral Umber, to be honest. Black brown white. Armor brown is a as an airbrush paint, so yeah, not. Brown that first. Green grey. This one could be useful. Could be. This is another one that looks as similar to. I don't have to look like Death Guard brown. Uh, Death Guard brown. Death Guard green. Look. Not that far off, is it? Uh, 
that one. Let's try the grey black. in the colours in now. Green grey. Makes all the difference, I find. Oh, there's my phone. I think that's quite good for that. Soak this up. A bit wasteful, I know, but. Um, Done with the browns and the greys. Stay in my hand. Yuck. So I think we can go with some green. Now I'm going to have a look at the original one I purchased, which is an aquarium ornament. That's almost an orange. Yeah, it's got some green. I could probably achieve the same effect with some green. So, I'm looking at rat skin flesh, caro orange. Caro orange looks quite fake. Try a bit of that, shall we? Try a bit of Jacaro orange. Right. <coughs> uh. the ticket.
Yeah, that's looking quite good. That's looking fairly similar to it now. Right. Excellent. Now. Do I go with some necrotite green? Muck. Yeah, I'm liking that. Hmm. Not much isopropanol alcohol left. Same sort of thing, I suppose. But before we do that, let's have a go with this nip type green, shall we? Very sparingly with the green, though, very sparingly. Yeah, I think that could work. God, that fan is really annoying. Well, it's it's a godsend. Don't get me wrong, but damn. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Black, grey, so I'm going to need, I'm going to need, I'm going to need Sewage muck. Now, I don't think I've got any isopropyl alcohol left in here. Oh, there's a little bit. Oh, strong, smell strong.
this is the brush I'm using to apply the pigments. The trouble is, pigments are messy, and we know that. So that's done. Seal the pigment up. So now, just a case. That's done. So I'm applying pigments on everywhere really. <laughs> Sweet, actually, uh, for pieces of terrain. Definitely. Now, what I want to do, if I can, should I add some flock to that? Might do. Yeah, chances are I wouldn't put it in that way. Put it in that way. I could put some goo in it, couldn't I? I don't know. I'm going to leave them as they are for now. I'll probably come back to those on a later date, but I'm happy with those so far. The extra bit of pigment around there. See it there at the bottom of the green? Yeah, I'm happy with that. Quite happy. Marvellous. Now I can crack on with something else. Wash these out properly later. That is good. Yeah, that is absolutely good. Right. Okay. 
So, what am I going to paint now? Well, I've got these orcs I found that I never obviously never finished. Well, I never started because they're just plastic. I was thinking I could add them to the orcs I've got. Trying out some orcs at the moment, 8th edition. Just like shooter boys. And, well, they're just boys. They got um, choppers and shooters and whatever else, I guess. Just cleaning this up a little bit. Yeah, it's definitely not alcohol the way that's that would have dried up by now if it was alcohol. Clean up my hands. Now what I'm gonna do is put these orc boys on some little lids things I've got going on. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna prime them. Right, I'm halfway through already, so let's get these boys over here. what these come from, whether I bought them from eBay a long time ago, fully assembled I'm guessing, or just bought them to bolster out the units I've got there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, that's a shame there's only nine, but hey, such is life. Right. So one, two, three, one, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, what the heck, we're the same. Okay. Nine. So I've got some blue tack here. Some of you call it sticky tack or poster tack or. That's essentially what it's for, right? For sticking posters to walls. Right. Hold of some lamb bones today for the dogs. A load of meat on it, so I took all the meat off and they're loving it. Their uh, dinners, absolutely loving it. Yummed it right up. And then strip the bones clean. I could probably do another one as well. Yeah. Like a different, like a slightly different <coughs> scale, even some of them. Some look slighter than others. I suppose that would be realistic, though, wouldn't it? Not too much on that one. Right. 
So I'm guessing maybe some of them are from older kits. Probably bought them from eBay. Fully done. I will see anyway. Put some paint down on the thing. That's he's definitely from a newer kit, I can tell. Ugh. Why have I got oh yeah. If I had more lids than orcs then. Right, cut them right. I'm sure I counted them out. Well, I did. Right. So we need a primer. Primer, boy. Primer. We'll go straight black, I think. Messages coming through. Nothing exciting, right. Yeah, I'll go straight black, because why not? Probably dry up quite quickly on the palette here, but I don't mind. I tend to favour the Panzer Grey. Um, Primer these days over the black. Let's try to clean up a bit of the gunk from inside the bottle. Don't want to put too much down because, well, because. Primer on, get these guys, these boys primed up. And then I'll start painting them. And then I'll just add them to my orc army. My orc army is looking quite good actually, I'm quite chuffed with it. I'm wondering who they're going to fight though. I think it's going to be a toss up between. Space Marines and Astra Militarum. I'm probably going to go Astra Militarum. And here's the thing, it's like, oh, no one can take anything now that I'd have to say, oh, I've got no way of getting that. Even though, like, certain vehicles and tanks, and if you haven't got the right stuff, you're not going to have a chance, but you can still wound it. Anything can wound anything. I love that. Absolutely love that idea. I get me some Ogrins or and Bulgrins for my Ashton of Time. I just think they look awesome. They're kind of like this uh, mutant species, subhuman thing, or uh, human, whatever you call it. I just think it's a great idea. By the time you see this, you'll have seen my video about squats. Are they returning? You know, but. Uh, <laughs> I've had people saying, ah, oh, clickbait, but um, I don't know, it just says it, why mention them in the book? And this is the thing, you know, if they want them to vanish into obscurity, then just don't mention them, do you? Like they, they haven't done before, and now all of a sudden they're mentioning squats? What? You know, I, I don't know whether it's a, just a thing that they can say well yeah you can use squats narratively of course uh, and we don't you know that's okay you can convert models or whatever I mean people are doing that anyway 
But um, wouldn't it be cool if they brought them back? Man, you know, it's some really awesome looking models. Whole new faction. Brilliant. There's uh, still some left, boy. So I think they're quite hardy creatures. You know, basically dwarves and I love the little trikes I've seen uh, the barn, which obviously they had years ago. Just love it. I think it's great. You know. So yeah. So we'll get the primer on these guys. Yeah, some of these have got to be old sculpts because, like I say, uh, different scale slightly and completely just completely different look to them. That's okay. I paint them. Have similarities. As long as they're not too different from one another. Go with some. I'll I'll bring a few of my orcs over here to. Um, to uh, use as a like a basis line to <coughs> so I can I can keep the colour thing similar. I know what I mean. Yeah, they're definitely boys. They're not grots. They're way too big for grots. Gretchen, whatever they call them. Small boys, though. I don't mind the scale creep, actually. I quite like it. I'm loving Primera Space Marines. Apparently, they're not everybody's cup of tea, but I love them. I think they're brilliant. It's a lovely chunky piece, game piece to hold in your hand and I just, yeah. add these to my orcs. I've got some more orcs on the way as well. Only like the four in a box set you get that probably snap fit. But you know kind of like my guardian Eldar Guardians were but um what was I gonna say um yeah I'll just add them to my orc army. Definitely a versatile mixture I've got here. Now, of course, I've got my Orc Bomber still to do. So yeah, yeah, I'll lay out my table. Well, I've still got to. I've got to draw up my army roster yet. It's another horde army, isn't it? Basically, what is it with me and horde armies? I think I said this before. I think they look amazing on the tabletop. Two left. That's not bad. 
two orc boys left. I think things look so much better once you just start painting them. I, don't know, I think orcs are fairly easy to paint. You can add as much or as little detail as you want, really, I think, with orcs. I kind of like to go for a middle of the road. So I, I, quite, I like quite a bit of detail on them. guy's got two guns. Okay. This is one of the, the uh, more modern ones I'm doing here. The actual modern orcs, they, I think they could do some more models, but um, they're not actually that bad after them. Yeah, they're quite good. So yeah, I've got my orc bomber. And that'll be doing later in the year. I'm hoping this year to get it on its um, flying base, which would be good. Got three perspex stands to put it on. There we go, and I think that's him done. By Jove. By Jove, chap. I think we're there. Right. All primed up. Well, so that isn't bad. It's not bad at all. Wipe this mess up here. Get this off my palette. I will clean my palette up. Uh, I've got some clean up to do now. And um, yeah. Oop. All right. So I'm taking my glasses off, and I think I'm going to end it here. There. So. Thank you for joining me on that. Getting some pipes done and some walks. That was a bit unexpected. This was an unplanned on the bench episode, but uh, I'll incorporate it into my um, into my schedule. So yeah, that that will be good. I think um, could have started my pox walkers. Um, I don't know with these guys. I don't know. Just looking at them thinking, uh, shall I do a tutorial on them or not? I don't know. A strange bunch, that's for sure. They're very zombie-like. Uh, hmm. The taint of Nagle, eh? I've got stuff to do on my razor back. I've got the dreaded decals to do. Uh, I always hate decals. And, um, yeah. Uh, it'll, it'll be good. Might put some pigments along the bottom of it and um, B 
but yeah, I'm not going to do that now. So that's me done here now. Um, these, believe it or not, these orc boys are drying already. Um, but, but yeah, so thanks for joining me. I hope you got loads of stuff done. Um, chuff with what I got done there. It's something I don't have to do again. I can now start probably next week. So I doubt I'll be doing anything tomorrow. But probably next week I'll be starting work on the orcs. And hopefully I'll, I'll have had some uh, space marines finished up by then. Anyway, thanks for joining me. Remember all brushes lead to war. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.